So our next addition reaction that we're going to discuss is the hydration reaction. This is the addition of water, H2O, across the alkene. So in this reaction, we're going to have an alkene. Then we're going to add our water as our reagent or a reactant. And that will yield our alcohol. So our new functional group is going to uh, add in here. So in order for this reaction to occur, we do need a catalyst. It's going to be a hydrogen or um, a, an acid catalyst. So we need an H plus, which stands for an acid catalyst. So let's look and see how this works. So I have here my alkene and I have water. So if we draw out water, we have hydrogen dash OH. That's how I'm going to draw it to show you for this specific example. So if I draw out my same molecule, we're going to add water across the molecule. The hydrogen, this hydrogen here, is going to add to one side of the water or of the alkene and the OH is going to add to the other. So we're splitting the water in half and putting half of it on one side, half of it on the other. So let's draw our molecule originally. I'm gonna go ahead and draw out those hydrogens. I'm going to leave out the double bond because that's where we're adding in our water. We're going to put a hydrogen on one side and then an OH, an alcohol, a hydroxyl group on the other. So we're adding in a hydrogen on one side, hydroxyl on the other of where that double bond was. A sticky point in terms of this reaction is now we're not adding, in our previous reaction, halogenation, we added the same thing to either side of that alkene. So if they switch sides, like one of the hydrogens added to a different side, it didn't matter. It still gave us the same product, right? But now what if our alkene is not symmetric? So what if it has one side has a methyl group, but one side doesn't? Or in this example down here, we have two methyl groups on one side of our alkene and enough hydrogens on the other side. So when the chemistry occurs, this is actually a selective process. So hydra hydration is selective. When the double bond is asymmetric, as we were just talking about, the hydrogen adds to the side with more hydrogen atoms. So kind of having, think about having a hydrogen as being rich. So if you have hydrogen, it's like having money. And then you are going to selectively put the side that just has, that has more hydrogens it's going to get the hydrogen and the side that has less hydrogens is going to get the oxygen or the OH, alcohol. So how to remember this is the rich get richer if hydrogen is the money. So if we look at this reaction down here, again, we have our alkene, adding our water, and then we have our acid catalyst. Let's draw out the molecule without our new bonds in it. So we have hydrogen and our methyl groups there, okay. Then I'm going to draw my two blue bonds to show where my H and OH are gonna go. And then I have to decide which side gets the hydrogen, which side gets the oxygen. So this side over here already has two hydrogens. This side has no hydrogens. Technically there's six, yes I know, but we're talking about directly connected to that carbon. This side has none, this side has two. So the side with two is going to be where my hydrogen goes and the side with none is where I'm going to put my OH, my hydroxyl. And then this is my answer. It says the alcohol that results from the hydration of this alkene here. We can also do this reaction if there's three uh, substituents attached, like this example. So this alkene undergoes hydration reaction with water and acid. 
So let's draw out our molecule without the alkene. Okay, and then we'll draw our bonds to show that we added across that alkene. And then we need to decide which side is going to get the hydrogen. So I'm gonna actually go back over here and draw out this hydrogen here. So on, man, this keeps happening. There we go, okay. On this side of the alkene, there's one hydrogen. On this side, there's none. So that first side is where the hydrogen is going to go. So I'll put the hydrogen on this side, alcohol on this side, and that is our final answer. The third reaction that we're learning in the terms of addition reactions is the hydrohalogenation reaction. So this is the addition of HX. Hydrohalogenation, hydro meaning hydrogen, X or halogen meaning X halogenation. Um, in this reaction, we have our alkene plus HX. So this could be like HCl, HBr, HI, HF, all of those things. Uh, yields are uh, halo alkane. Uh, for this particular reaction, there are no catalysts required because HX is already an acid. So technically to do this, you need an acidic environment, um, just like the hydrate or yes, hydration. Um, however, since HX is already an acid, you don't necessarily need to add any more extra acid. Okay, so in this reaction, the same things occur, but now we're adding, oops, not purple. The same type thing occurs where we're adding one part of our reagent to one side of alkene, another part to the other. And this, this time we're going to have hydrogen adds to one side, halogen adds to the other. So if we do the same base where the alkene adds, we have a hydrogen adds to one side of the alkene and our halogen adds to the other. Again, hydrohalogenation is also selective, just like hydration, in the same way. The hydrogen goes to the side with more hydrogens, the halogen goes to the side with less, with less hydrogens. So if we're looking at this example down here, we're going to add, or let's go ahead and draw out our molecule. So the side with more hydrogens, this side over here, is going to get the hydrogen. The side with less hydrogens is going to get the halogen. So that's the answer. So you don't necessarily have to draw uh, this hydrogen. For all of these, actually, you don't necessarily have to draw those hydrogens, right? Because they're assumed. I'm just drawing them for clarity for your reactions. You can if you want to. You will not get points taken off for drawing in hydrogens, but uh, I'm just adding it now for clarity, but they will be dropped soon enough. Okay, our last one here, we have our same carbon chain that we started with, and then we're going to add our two bonds to each side of where the double bond was, and then decide which side gets the halogen, which side gets the hydrogen. So this side has more hydrogen, so it gets the hydrogen. This side has less hydrogen, so it gets the halogen. So in this case, it's bromine, HBr. Okay, so that is, uh, the, that's uh, the <laughs> hydration and halogenation reactions as a whole. In the next video, we'll talk specifically about how this selectivity occurs and why, and I'll see you guys there.